One of the things that I've been quite bothered by when doing online meetings is the when you're gonna share a screen. It's too slow. I wanna do it like this. Bam, you got the whiteboard. Bam, you got the full camera. And bam, you got a sp split screen. You wanna show a PowerPoint or something. Bam, back to this one. Or the whiteboard and here. And then I even added recently a document camera here if I wanna show something within a book, which also can be quite useful. And do you realize how long that would have taken me if I would like do screen shares within Teams or Zoom? It would take ages. You need to be super quick. And here's what I'm using. Let's go back to the document camera and I can show you. This is my, it's Elgato Stream Deck. This is a big one. Oh, it's really dusty on the backside, I just realized. <laughs> but this is like a big screen and you can program it and do whatever you like with these buttons. So I can just push with this one, go and then I can click on whiteboard bam or split screen and you can also have like I control I here I can I can control my my studio lights I have a lot of settings here which I can put the lights on or off well you can't really see it here but uh, if we go to this camera and I can show you like lights off lights on and I, I, I control everything from from this unit You've got the clock you can do timer here's even a little time we're gonna push, push this one and I got five minutes can be useful you want to take a five minute break and then it's a little alarm that goes off then it, when it's done so the possibilities are endless with this one and uh, I can highly recommend it the stream deck they have them in in uh, various sizes as well which you can use for a permanent setup like this it's good to have a, uh, a the, <laughs> the bigger the better of course but uh, there are small portable ones as well and uh, I've also been using OBS Studio with a so-called virtual camera. So the, the stream that you're looking at now, I can feed this as a web camera input into Teams or Zoom. And that way I can use this board and just bam, 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 bam in a Zoom meeting or in a Teams meeting. There is one drawback with that, however, and that is when you use screen share in Teams or Zoom, it's like they use a different compression algorithm, so you get a very high quality. But when you do the web camera, the image turns out quite pixelated and not that really impressive quality. So that's a problem, but uh, yeah, there's always a trade-off. Hopefully we might find better solutions for this with coming updates of the program, so you can really just go like this, bam, bam, bam. I would thoroughly enjoy to do it like this in in zoom and teams that would be that would be so nice so if you want to learn more about these features you i recommend you check out the elgato's website they got lots of useful tools and you can also the program that i'm using to record these videos and do all this is called obs open broadcasting studio and it's an open source program which is great kind of complex but there's a lot of tutorials to to get you going with it as well so and in, in today's video, I'm wearing green and white and orange. Really nice combination. Good contrast with the orange towards the green and the white one. It's just like it's also a good contrast. I like it. See ya.